Hello and welcome to Dare to Disney. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take two ordinary books and turn them into the Evil Queen's Spellbook. For the first book, I'm using the design of the poison apple that the Queen gives to Snow White. So I drew some lines at the bottom just so I could see where I wanted uh, the apple to end. And then I'm just using a reference picture and drawing in pencil uh, the apple onto the book. Next I'm drawing just a straight line across the book so I can begin to write the word poison underneath the apple. Now you're going to take a hot glue gun and you're going to trace everything you did in pencil with hot glue. Once all the lines are traced, you're going to go back in and fill in everything with hot glue. Next I'm taking some Mod Podge and a paintbrush and I'm applying this all over the cover of the book. Then I'm taking a damp paper towel and I'm placing that on top of the cover of the book. Once that's in place, I'm putting down another layer of Mod Podge on top of the paper towel. As you apply the Mod Podge, be sure to define the edges of the design so it's easy to see. Next, I'm just repeating that same process for the top half of the book. All right, now that the layer of Mod Podge and paper towel have dried, I'm going back in on the inside of the cover and repeating the same process. To make things a little easier, trim off any excess paper towel you don't need. Once those have all been glued down, I'm taking another layer of Mod Podge on the first page and I'm going to glue that to the front cover of the book so it makes it have a little bit more of a clean finish. And now I'm just going to repeat that same process for the back cover of the book. To H the cover, I use my fingers to pinch together the paper towel to give it more of a weathered look. Alright, now that both covers are dry, I'm going to age the paper. I'm doing this by using a mixture of brown paint and water and just using a paintbrush to apply on top. And now for my favorite part, which is painting the design you created. The paint I used is the acrylic paint uh, that you can get in the small little bottles at Walmart. Once I finished painting the background black, I took a mixture of red and brown paint and applied that on top of the black just to make it look a little bit more aged and creepy. And this is how the first book turned out. 
For the second book, I'm going to be taking a mixture of black and red acrylic paint and just painting right on top of the cover of the book. Once the book is completely dry, I drew a border using pencil on the front cover of the book. Uh, the reason I didn't show this was because I couldn't find my ruler, uh, so I had to use a yardstick and that would not fit on the table uh, to be filmed. Next I'm filling in that border with green paint. Next I'm using this piece of wood as a template to draw a rectangle on the book and then I fill this in with green paint as well. Then I'm using my pencil to sketch out the word poisons. Next I'm taking this gold metallic pen from Michaels and I'm uh, going over the sketch that I previously did in pencil. Then I just filled in everything that I outlined. All right, next I took a oval flat piece of wood. I painted that green and then used a pencil to sketch a skull. Then I outlined and filled in what I did in pencil with hot glue. Then I took the gold metallic marker and colored on top of the dried hot glue. Next, I add a few simple embellishments to the border of the book. I start with pencil and then again outline with the gold metallic marker. Before finishing the last embellishments, I glued the skull on top of the front cover of the book. And this was the final result of our second spell book. Thanks for watching and be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss our Disney Halloween videos coming up soon.